In this episode, 10 dog breeds that you shouldn't get. Considering that there are over 200 pure breeds and a lot of mixed breeds, we can say that each is bred for different specific purposes. Some to have strong prey drive instincts, some to have a more pronounced aggression, and some to have high energy, and others to just be selfish, independent. Each breed is the best of all for the purpose that it was bred, but on the other hand, some have characteristics that aren't at all suitable for inexperienced people or first-time dog owners. Such a one is the Airedale Terrier. Besides the fact that they can easily become aggressive towards the other dogs of the same sex, these large terriers have strong hunting instincts and mostly towards cats. They can become quite stubborn since they're very independent. Families with small children or other pets shouldn't consider this breed. Dogo Argentino it's said that sometimes it's hard even for an experienced owner to completely dominate a dogo. Due to this and the physique and strength they possess, Dogo Argentino as a hunting dog and guard dog is very strong-willed and can't be controlled by a novice owner. Chow Chow Based on a study done to evaluate the ease of training in purebreds, Chow Chow is listed somewhere at the bottom. This breed is very independent but also has strong tendencies to become aggressive. Fila Brasileira As a dog with high energy, strong instincts, and a great desire to hunt or guard, Fila Brasileiro can't fit in small environments. Focused, intensive, and strict training are vital for this breed, otherwise they can become really dangerous. Neapolitan Mastiff Neapolitan Mastiff is considered to be more low energy than other Mastiffs, but he has a feature that's worse than the others. He's stubborn and difficult to train. Their intimidating character can easily have an effect on a new owner. Tibetan Mastiff Strong and heavy, Tibetan Mastiffs are a breed that matures very slowly even though they can grow to be large. This makes their actions often uncontrollable and impulsive. Also, these dogs are very active at night and can even bark until the early hours of the morning. Presa Canario As a breed considered to be very dangerous, many countries ban it and others restrict it. Presa Canario requires strict training from experienced or professional people in order to reach its full potential as a companion and protector. Otherwise, his guarding instincts can be misdirected. Siberian Husky Huskies are also known as escape artists as they can leave home for adventures. Like working dogs, huskies require care from all family members, starting with physical activity, special diet, and not leaving them alone for long hours. Tosa Inu Due to his alpha personality, these dogs are more independent than other breeds. This results in being incredibly stubborn. Tosa Inu needs an owner who's naturally authoritative over the dog in a calm but firm, confident, and consistent way. Wolf Dog in general, wolf dogs are considered to be less motivated to please their owners, which means they don't necessarily accept all orders. The other is that these hybrids might have inherited more instincts from the wolf than the dog. This classifies them as unpredictable. They're very agile and their prey drive instincts can be easily activated. Besides having a very strong bite force, the amount of bites done for a brief time is quite big and fast. Wolf dogs should be owned only by professionals or people with a lot of experience who also fulfill their elementary conditions. So that was all. Till the next episode, good luck.